but for one man. The turbulence of that era was just the beginning of an extraordinary story. What did you do? That's the Ryunosuke or whatever his name is. What did you do? How are we going to get out of this one? But there's no way he shot. Oh my god, the sound effects. I don't, I don't think, I don't think he actually did it. He was just holding the gun. Somebody else shot through like a window or something ridiculous because that's, or like through, through like the, a floor panel. Because that's what happens in these games. And now here I am awaiting my trial. That's enough. Oh my god, look, it's, it's, we're inside! Okay, this guy is cool. He's got a red headband. We're inside and he's got wind. Asugi, may I have a word? Who's speaking? What voice do I use? Perfect. Look at this guy. Wait, is Tom Selleck? Is that you? Professor! I didn't know you were coming. Monica's old boyfriend? That's- yeah, that's what I'm saying! Tom Selleck! <laughs> that's him. After his relationship with Monica ends, Richard leaves everything behind to restart life in Japan. I don't believe it. Wait, I don't believe it! I don't know who's talking. I wish, like, the freaking boxes were colored so I know it's a different person talking. But I... I didn't do it, I swear it! I'm not a murderer! Well, I believe him. Supreme Court of Judicature Courtroom 2. Dude, we're not even good enough to be in courtroom 1. So this is a courtroom. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Oh my god, he reminds me of Elliot and Mr. Robot right now. The the freaking freak tweaking out eyes. Big eyes as well. <laughs> you need to concentrate, Ryunosuke. It's about to begin. This guy? Oh, hello, Judge. He looks like the Burger King guy. The court will now hear the trial of Ryunosuke Naruhodo. The prosecution's ready, Your Excellence. He looks like he would sound like Hojo. I I would like to inform the court that that I Ryunosuke Naruhodo will be defending myself. You'll be what? How sad. It means you don't have faith in me. Damn, that's true. That's that's very true. You think I won't be able to get you off? <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> no, it's not that really. It's just that. <laughs> Only hope chance that things don't go well for me. I couldn't bear to be the reason that you. <laughs> yes, I knew that's how you'd feel, which is exactly why I decided not to tell you. Because <laughs> Professor Mikotoba shouldn't have stuck his nose in. Well, well. Does the accused admit defeat already? Renouncing his own counsel, really? Shut the fuck up, Hojo. Objection! Thank you. Look, this guy knows what to do. Make no mistake, counsel. This merely shows that the defendant's innocence is so apparent he's confident he can speak for himself. In the West, a doctor dissects corpses to identify the cause of death in an autopsy. But here in Japan, a police officer merely inspects the body and draws conclusions that way. Really? Oh, I see. As long as I'm not going to be tested on any of this later. Well, no, like, is he, a, is he, is he new? Like, in life? How do you not know this? I know this shit. But then again, I have played uh, Phoenix, right? And he probably hasn't, so. <laughs> so what did he go to the university for then? Random chorus. No, like, he doesn't even go, like, he doesn't actually learn there. He just shows up. He's like, yeah, I, I went to Yuma University. Oh, what'd you study? I, I just, I went there. <laughs> so you didn't study? Oh, well, I went there. <laughs> That's him. Uh, <laughs> witnesses, kindly state your names and occupations for the court. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's fucking robotic. <laughs> it's movie robotic. The plan of the restaurant sketched by the man in the question? Hmm, I agree it shows a great deal, a deal of attention to detail, but I'm not sure we can conclude anything. Sorry, Your Excellency, it's the back of the card. 
Or perhaps I should have said the front. Oh, shit. Yes, it's the front of the back of the card. <laughs> That's where the telling detail is. Oh my god, just turn it around, dude! <laughs> Would somebody please explain what this overexcited student is trying to say? I feel like I'm playing Blue's Clues right now. Like, turn it around! <laughs> the front of that business card reveals the man in question's profession. His true profession. A waiter's profession? But that's surely... Good gracious! That's right, Your Excellency. The card reads, Chief Inspector. <laughs> you see evidence? Where? It's like a room full of children are like, Turn on the business card! <laughs> Damn, girl! She Now that's an English woman. She's got a swan hat. She's got a sick theme. Well, what a delight it is to welcome such a fly gentlewoman to Japan from such a distant land. Tea! Somebody bringing us tea! In England, no discussions take place without tea. Everyone's just so impressed by her. Could we possibly trouble you to state your name and occupation for the court? Of course. My name is Satoru Sanaga. <laughs> Not you. I've been working undercover as the head waiter at La Carnival, but my true- Yes, yes, we know all about you already. Get the tea! <laughs> Inspector Hosanaga, where are your manners? In England, it's always ladies first. Is that... is that true? No idea. So, dear lady, once again, if we may trouble you for your name and occupation, please. I can't do a, a voice for her, she's too cute. Oh my god, she's Haru from Persona. What the fuck? She's... oh my god, is this because we don't understand her? <laughs> she really speaks English? And they speak Japanese. Um, I'm terribly sorry, dear lady, but what? <laughs> <laughs> this is how English looks. Very true. The lady says her name is Giselle Brett. She comes from London, England. She's a visiting research student, currently enrolled in Yuma University's medical faculty. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. I don't carry a gun myself, so obviously I couldn't have been the culprit. Sure. Sure. Not me, by the way. <laughs> On the day in question, the lady was wearing the same outfit as she is today. As you can see, there is nowhere about her person where she can conceal a firearm. Are you fucking kidding me? Her entire outfit is made to conceal a firearm. Maybe even six firearms! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Me and Ryo Ryonosuke are like this right now. I mean, I'd be delighted to help. Yes! She's doing it! Especially if it helps relations between my country and yours. Oh my god! Look at that swan, look at that shotgun on her head. She can speak! Ah, uh, Miss... Miss Brett! You... speak Japanese? Alright, Okuni time. Well, of course I do! Pisha! <laughs> I am studying your country after all. But then, why have you been speaking through an interpreter until now? I am shocked. My mother tongue, the Queen's English, is the most refined and elegant language in the world. As a gentlewoman, I try to avoid speaking your vulgar tones as much as possible. Oh, <gasps> she's a bitch! She's a bitch! That's... Oh, I don't like her anymore. Please, wait! Is isn't that... What is the meaning of this? It's Hoichi! <laughs> Forgive me for intruding on court proceedings, Your Excellency. Susato Mika Toba, judicial assistant to the defense. Mik Miko Toba? In my darkest hour, with nowhere left to go, she appeared like a bolt of lightning. And in her hands, she carried a small package wrapped in a fur furoshiki cloth. Ha! A judicial assistant and a woman, no less. The rules state that females are not permitted into this court of law other than to testify. Wow. 
I have some vital evidence that I must hand over to the defense. What is it? A report about something? Written in English? It's Giselle Brett's research. Oh. Instant paralysis of the entire body and subsequent death, even in minute in minute doses. The above mentioned effects occur when the poison enters the blood through a wound, such as that inflicted by a blowpipe dart. Yes, I took on the job of waiter at the restaurant in order to flush out the criminal. It seems likely that this Koban incident is the work of the same thief. Hmm, so unbeknownst to us, there was a master thief at work in the restaurant on a regular basis. The identity of the person who stole and hid Kurakuda-san's Koban is all too clear. What? What? Tell us, who is the despicable scoundrel that stole? It's him! Obviously, can only be you. Sergeant Iasanosa. Yes. What? How? How dare you, you, you monster? Even the baby's shocked. Monster? I stole that Koban, did I? I'm the master thief of La Carnival, am I? You're seriously accusing me of these crimes, cadet? But it wasn't me, it was Ido! Ido's the- <laughs> Ido's the mastermind! <laughs> you, you called it! Yeah, blame, blame the baby. You would push the blame of your crimes onto your own son, an innocent little baby? It's you who's the monster, Sergeant Nosa. <laughs> Somebody called Child Protective Services. He's trying to throw his baby under the bus figuratively. You. Oh my god. This baby, look, he's, he's fighting back. Clippity clop, clippity clop. Well, at least somebody's blowing up. He just snapped his back. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, this is like... One of these is like a puppet controlling the other. <laughs> In fact, there's only one person who could possibly have shot Dr. Wilson from the front. I'm sure everyone knows by now who that person is. Yeah. Oh! Uh, um... That's right. Miss Giselle Brett. Time to blow up, lady. It's you! Outdone by a Japanese me? By a Japanese schoolboy? No. No, no. Oh no. <laughs> Is there babies in there? <laughs> ah, oh my god. Oh my god, they're everywhere now. <laughs> Is she dead? I told you she was gonna blow up. I didn't quite expect that. <laughs> oh my god, they're everywhere. <laughs> I think it's time you told the court what actually happened that day. <laughs> and what just happened? That would be nice too. It was I who took the professor's life using Kurere. As he surmised, I chose that particular day for one very important reason. The professor had a dental appointment for the extraction of one of his teeth in the morning. So you plan to kill the professor, knowing that no trace of poison would be found in his water. Because Kuro is unheard of here in Japan. Such a trifling matter, but the fact that you decided to come over to greet the professor... Oh, she's pissed. Meant that I had lost my chance to slip away unnoticed. There was no going back at that point. So I concocted a plan on the spur of the moment. A plan to pin Dr. Wilson's murder on this innocent man. I happen to know that the professor always carried a gun. I decided to use that fact to my advantage. I had the bottle of cure in my handbag. And my own pistol concealed under my skirt. What? Under her skirt? No way. Under your skirt? Okay, he wants to see where. And everything went according to plan. You noticed the gun as I intended. 
And then, just as you bent down to pick it up, bang. That's when you shot the professor with your own gun. Even though at that point, he was already dead. So there you have it. That is the entirety of my misdemeanor. This can't be! Taketsuchi Aoshi does not lose! Not to the likes of this rookie student. You've become conceited with age, Council. But the old have to stand aside and make way for the new. Can I put my hands do judgment cut? In the way of the world, may you never forget that. Oh shit. There it is. Oh! <laughs> I. Somebody. Oh my god, Virgil. You're such a Virgil. Thousand millennia may pass, and still the Oshi clan will never measure up to the Naruhoto clan. I feel like if somebody did that in court, that's assault. Yeah, <laughs> assault in the courtroom. Like, he doesn't even care. Judge is just like, uh. <laughs> it is time to deliver the final verdict. I hereby get everyone get your clappers ready. I hereby find the defendant Ryonosuke Naruhoto not guilty. Oh, bitch. Yay! <laughs> the guy, the other guy. Yay! He's innocent. That was fun. That was a fun tutorial case.